Oh, he scoots. He's a butt scooter. Go, Liam, go. Good job, Liam. Good job. Well done. Hi there, I'm Rusty Sims. Welcome to another episode of the Decade Challenge HBCU. Today is a national holiday weekend here in the U.S. It is Juneteenth. So happy Juneteenth. If you don't know what Juneteenth is, I'll give you a little bit of a rundown. I won't spend too much time on it. But basically, it is the only known celebration of the end of U.S. slavery as we knew it in the 1860s. So it's the end of slavery. If you know much about American history, you know that slavery continued in other forms, but that was the official federal end of slavery. So Juneteenth has been a holiday in Texas since that day, since the Texans were brought the news that slavery was abolished. Uh, they have celebrated every year since then, but it's just become a national holiday in the last couple of years. I think this is actually the second year we are celebrating as a national holiday. However, because I live in Texas, I have been celebrating Juneteenth for a couple of decades now. So happy Juneteenth. Woohoo. This is one of those nap inspectors. I really don't like the nap inspectors because they never come with good news. And Roy is at work. Tanisha is at home and you can see that uh, she's got a lot of decorating done. This is the first floor. Is she going up? Don't talk to the Napster. Ugh. This is the first floor, living room, dining room. There's a little workspace over there, the baby's area over there. And the baby's, of course, sleeping, little Liam. And the second floor are the main... Oops, I'm outside. Second floor are the main bedrooms. This bedroom... Well, that's the stairwell. But this bedroom is... Roy and Tanisha's with the baby Liam's crib over in the corner because baby Liam really can't be by himself yet. And then there's a, a small bathroom. It's the main bathroom, but it's small. And then upstairs. Oh, there's also a bathroom on the first floor. It's basically a WC, a water closet. Just the toilet and the sink. That's it. So this is the, this is January's floor. She has a place to do her homework. She has some toys. Ultimately, Liam will move up here as well. She's got an awful big bed, but I stuck it to the wall in the hopes that other people won't try to climb into it because it's not really for them. Uh, you can see some of the classic photos from Amelia Elderberry's career are on the wall. And Amelia is, of course... Okay, we're not in compliance, but... I don't care, Napster, go away. These are Amelia Ellsbury's photos. Amelia is Tanisha and Naima's mother who died when they were babies. They were raised by their aunt and uncle, Eddie and uh, Faith. So here are some more pictures and I'm keeping the walls up so that you can see. This is, this is for me, a travel through time because that's Rico who is Amelia's, Amelia's mother. Uh, there's Amelia and Shakur, who are Tanisha's parents. This is, oh, I forgot, Tomas Diagene, who was the surprise child that nobody knew about. They had seen this picture a million times, but only when they started to do family research did they discover Celine Diagene, the French photographer, uh, had an affair with Thomas Thomas Johnson during the war. That is Faith Elderberry taken by her sister. There's Thomas right there. Also taken by Celine during the war. This is World War One, not World War Two. And my mouse is, I mean, my Zoom is doing something weird here. So that's Billy who died. That is also Thomas during the war. And then there's some other really cool pictures here. So it's nice to Go through the war years, the World War II. Oh, shoot. Okay. This room is so small. I wanted to be able to see the walls, which is why I left them up. So there are the same family photos here. There are art style photos. This is mostly... Oh, there's Angelica. 
mostly um, Amelia's collection, which was uh, which Tanisha inherited. She hadn't ever had the space to exhibit those photos, and they're everywhere. In addition to that, this is of course down one level where January's bed is. In addition to that. Tanisha has also put up her grandmother's paintings. Now, Petra Johnson never became famous like Amelia did, she, but she was an artist. She did these in the early 1900s, I think, maybe the 1890s. I don't remember what decade we were in, but she was a very accomplished painter and she did one, two, three, four of these. And that's her. These are some more Amelia photos. Oh, Tanisha took that one. Okay. So there are some Tanisha photos too. There's Liam. Uh, Petra had a beautiful collection of art that she created just to um, experience, just to express her skills. And there's one of them. And there's the other. I'm going to enable Aura on some of these. Oh, it's already, it's already enabled. I'm going to enable Aura on some, some things in this house just to keep things lively. That's confidence. Who doesn't need confidence? And then there's the romantic table, the romantic bucket, or what do we call that? Okay, I'm calling it the romantic bucket. And uh, it's going to, oh, it's already enabled. Okay, so when you move, they don't disable. So the flirty bucket there and the confidence boost down below. And this is one of those memory boxes that are that is fairly new to the game. Keepsake boxes. And I don't know much about it. But I do know that Tanisha's fallen asleep. Tanisha has lost a little bit of weight and she's fallen asleep lately. Today she's very sad. Let's go ahead and change Liam's diaper. She's all flirty. <laughs> That's some wasted flirt lady. All right, change Liam's diaper. Go, go, go. Did she is she ignoring Liam? No, no. What are you doing? We're not gonna eat cake. Change the kid's diaper. All right, Roy got a promotion. Huzzah, Roy. I am not a fan of how he dresses for work, but hopefully with this promotion comes a new outfit. I will be very happy with. So Roy got a promotion. He's a legal secretary. The last time he got a promotion, they moved, but we just got settled in. So I'm not really interested in moving this time. No, siree, Bob. He is a level three legal secretary. Well done. Ah, Liam had a milestone. Okay. What I'm looking for is what Roy has to do. He has to file court documents. And he's a wild card, so let's get him to do that now before he gets distracted. Tanisha, ha I forgot that Tanisha has trimmed her hair. She's got a shorter haircut now. Uh, did anybody ever take care of Liam? This poor kid. He's so dirty. Tanisha, normally we can't rely on Roy, but you need to change this child's diaper. All right, no, baby. Maybe we give you a bath instead. Maybe that's what you need. Tanisha is almost an executive. I'm sorry. She is an executive chef. She's almost a level 10 celebrity chef and she hasn't gotten there. We've been playing for a long time. She has not gotten there. Tanisha. Okay. She's not going to give this baby a bath. She's not going to do anything. How about kiss him goodnight? No, she's, I don't know what's going on there. All right, let's see if we can get fed by your mama. Well, that would, no, it's like they don't have a relationship. What the heck? Okay, maybe now it's working. No. Okay, she can clean up spoiled food. And then she has to clean out spoiled baby. Ah, he's going to sleep. He's so dirty. All right, there's a glitch in the game. I can't engage this kid. I really, oh, Roy has already left, abandoned his work. Maybe Roy can take care of the baby. 
He's hungry. Oh, this is killing me. Yeah, he stinks because nobody's taking care of him. Pick him up. Pick him up and feed him. Change his diaper, please. Come on, Roy. Okay, we cannot care for this baby. I don't know why. Something's wrong. Oh, Tanisha. Yes, yes, yes. Ugh. Something is wrong. Okay, I'm going to maybe nudge the crib a little bit. Either that's what's wrong or... I'm going to delete the crib. I don't know yet. I'm going to put the crib in the middle of the room. And now we can take care of the baby. Somebody please take care of this child. Oh, good. Oh, I was going to call a nanny. Okay, good. She can take care of the baby. Is she feeding him? Good. Maybe she'll give him a bath afterward. There is a bathtub upstairs. There's there's a bathroom on the first floor, but it doesn't have a tub. This is the only tub. Okay, give Liam a bath. There we go. All right, and Roy, oh, y'all are getting on my nerves. Okay, sometimes, sometimes they just don't do what you want them to do. Well done, Tanisha, level four. Good job. Can you bathe him, please? Please. Give him a bath. Good. Okay. Roy is dressed for something. I wish he would. Uh, I need him to get out of the bathroom and get some work done. So here we go. Uh, career. Law. File court documents. You can do it, Roy. I believe in you. He's very hard to pin down to actually doing the work. So that's what frustrates what frustrates me about Roy. Yes, the baby is in the bathtub. Thank God. Oh, man. Okay, Roy. I like this look. I didn't like his work look. I think he's super casual. He's doing social stuff. Oh, he's filing court documents. Okay. Because it looks a little bit like social media. Please move. Something's wrong with my game. I don't know what this is. Ah. All right. I'm going to see if I can get her to go here. Let's baby steps. Tanisha. Okay, I can't. Is he doing work? All I care about is this Troy doing... Yes, he's doing work. Oh, he's a city native. I didn't realize that. He doesn't care. But, oh, wait a minute. Oh, city neighborhoods. He wants to live in San Maishuno. Okay. We can make that happen. He's got very little time left before he has to go to work. I think his hours must have changed because he just got home and he's going to need sleep. So far, so good. But he's going to need sleep, I think. Tanisha, where are you, babe? Are you still stuck? Uh, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know if it's my computer or if it's um, my mouse, but she's stuck. Okay. Yeah, something's wrong here. Oh, he's supposed to reach level three of debate. Oh, I didn't realize that. Is he finished with the... He's getting us. Okay, I'm going to have to quit the game and go back in because something's very wrong here. Okay, I've restarted, and I think Roy is still not working on his job, even though it says he is. He's not getting credit for it. So 
If you notice, everybody's in a different outfit. <laughs> Why that is, I don't know. But uh, Tanisha is, is she on her way to work? No, she's not. I don't know why she's dressed like that. Okay, back to Roy. Liam is asleep. Roy is somewhere other than where he needs... Oh, that's Roy right there. Okay, let's get him working on court documents again. I think he has to go to work soon. It's really hard to get him to do this. Oh, Tanisha, no, no, no. Get up. Sorry, you can't do this right now. Okay, okay. There's another computer in the house. I'll just use that. January has a computer in her room am i wrong i am wrong there must be another computer in this house somewhere hmm. okay there's not i'll get one eventually okay good are you stop listening to music and follow your court docs all right tanisha hmm i need to get all of the cake out of the house because if there's cake in play, they tend to eat the cake. And cake gives them a sugar high. It doesn't go well. I did move the refrigerator around because if you remember the last episode, I kept putting uh, food men for the fridge into the bathroom. So to avoid that, I uh, just cleaned up. I just moved the refrigerator. Okay, good. Tanisha is putting stuff in the dishwasher. Good. Getting rid of all the old plates. Very good. How's our, how is our Liam doing? Asleep by the bathtub. I'm sure this is the safest place in the house for a child to sleep. His parents are awful. <laughs> okay, come on. He still is not getting credit for this job. Okay, poor Tanisha is just working her butt off. Does she embrace the change? Yeah, she can be neat. I don't mind. There are no vacuum cleaners in this house. All right. So now that, uh-oh, what's the matter? Okay. What just happened? She reached the number of maximum number of times of something. I don't know what just happened. Oh, the, just what you like to see a chef giving a bath to her baby. No cross-contamination possible here. Okay, whole family is just about to be a sleep success. Yay. Oh, look, he rolled over. Well done, Liam. And you rolled back again. You're so good. Oh, he put Liam on the floor. Good job, Dad. Why are you being weird, Dad? Look at him chewing his toe. I love this new pack. Okay, I'm not going to worry about Liam. I'm going to see if I can... Now I can get Roy to do his work. Come on. You can do it, Roy. I believe in you. Good job. Good job. Come on. Come on. You're confident. There's no reason why you can't ace this. Well, Liam is rolling like a boss now. Okay. Roy's boss confronts him and starts yelling about a document being late. I think we know why that document was late. This isn't the first time his hot-headed boss has blamed him for something he didn't do. Roy knows it'll blow over soon, but it's starting to get old. Should he ride out the storm or defend himself? He's not going to change behavior. Just let it go. Good deal. Oh, I forgot that I changed three-tiered divorce cake to four-tiered divorce cake because uh, I made a cover for that book and I couldn't find a three-tiered, so whatever. Okay, let's get Roy to sit up. This kid is always dirty. Sit up, little bugger. You can do it. Good boy. Uh-oh. He's going down. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh. 
Did we do it? Yay! Oh! Does he need a diaper change, maybe? Oh, she's hungry. I know, but let's take care of the baby first. Change diaper! Oh, what's going on? What is going on? Is he walking now? Oh, he sits up. Good job. Oh, we'll have an omelet. Uh-oh. Liam's in distress. He's angry. Oh, is he angry? If you could get over to this toy, you could play with it. Come on. There you go. Good boy. Oh, he scoots. He's a butt scooter. Go, Roy. Go. Not Roy. Go, Liam. Go. Good job, Liam. Good job. Well done. Good job. Okay. Crisis averted. All right. She's cooking an omelet. I wish we could feed that to the baby, but we can't. So whatever. Roy and Tanisha have been working on having a second child, but it hasn't happened yet. Good job. Okay. Let's have that nice plate of omelet. I love those socks. All right. What are we doing here? He's tired, but he's also hungry. Pick him up. Put him in the high chair. There you go. Come on, mama. He's boot scooting. Is she going to pick him up? Okay, pick him up. All right, Tanisha opted for the easy way. That's fine. Okay, no high chair. Let's just put him down for a nap. Oh, that's very sweet. You're going down, Buster Brown. Good. Okay. You take care of yourself. Uh, Tanisha finished her eggs so she can... Oh, Naima, what's the matter? Oh, she is on a mission. What's the matter? Oh, she came in and fired up the grill. I'm okay with that. Liam has learned to do the butt scoot and Tanisha has... Done, learned to clean house, and Roy has gotten another promotion. So, on this effort, we can celebrate. Happy Juneteenth! Uh, celebrating sisters here. And if you like what you've seen, please give it a thumbs up. If you love what you've seen, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, shout out to new subscribers. Bye bye.